Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to the ninth episode of Forces and Their Meanings. We will be continuing with the theme of the lessons that can be learned from the stories mentioned in the Holy Quran, the lessons that guide us and shine our path in this world. Today's episode is about Salih alayhi salam who was sent to the people of Thamud by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The people of Thamud were disbelievers. They disobeyed Allah and worshipped idols. They were arrogant and oppressed each other. Salih alayhi salam was a righteous man, noble, honest and truthful. Like the rest of the prophets and messengers sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he commanded the people of Thamud to obey Allah and leave idolatry, just as he commanded them to be fair and truthful but they refused due to their arrogance. They rebuked Salih alayhi salam and asked him to prove that he is the messenger of Allah by showing them a miracle. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down a great camel and Salih alayhi salam told the people of Thamud that this is the camel of Allah. It will drink on a specific day and the rest of the animals should drink on another day. The miraculous appearance of this camel caused many to believe in Salih alayhi salam, especially the poor and the wise. However, the rich and arrogant stayed rooted in the belief that Salih alayhi salam was a phony and this miracle was fake. Salih alayhi salam knew that some will have bad intentions and so he warned the people of Thamud not to harm the camels sent by Allah or destruction would follow. Despite warning them, a group of disbelievers killed the camels sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed them. He destroyed the houses that carved in the mountains the palaces they drove in the plains and he saved Salih alayhi salam and all those who believed in Allah. There is a lesson that can be learned from this story. We should not forget that Islam teaches us to be compassionate and merciful towards animals and we should not harm them even if it's as a joke. The story was mentioned in the ninth part of the Holy Quran. That is it for today's episode. Your task is to find the surah and the ayats which talk about the story. Masalam.